Hi, I'm Ram Payne with Garage Gurus. Today I have a tech tip for you on using Power Probe's new PP Draw tool to diagnose a parasitic battery drain. Let's get over to our Bronco and take a look. All right, so we're over here at our Bronco, and uh, for this tech tip, this is the uh, tool we're gonna be using. This is our Power Probe PP Draw, uh, draw monitor. A uh, little different procedure here where this actually becomes the battery uh, for this vehicle. It's got a lithium, bat lithium ion battery inside of it. And uh, we'll connect it into our DLC here in just a minute. And once we get that done, we'll disconnect the negative battery cable and uh, this thing will actually tell us what our draw is. Um, so let's get inside and we'll get this thing plugged in. All right, so we've got our draw monitor um, connected to the DLC. So the first thing we'll do here is turn it on, get it to boot up. Uh, and then one of the first things you'll see is a nice feature of this tool. Uh, first thing it shows you is battery voltage. Uh, and why that's important is because if the uh, fuse that leads for circuit 30 to the DLC uh, is blown, this is not gonna work, right? Um, so since we have a voltage reading here, it tells me powers and grounds at the DLC uh, are actually good. So first couple things we're gonna look at here, um, this menu button down at the bottom, we'll press that one. First thing there is a how long it'll stay on. Um, I like to keep it turned off um, that way I don't have to worry about it in the middle of a test, it's shutting off. There's a five minute, a 10 minute, and a 15 minute setting. So I'm just gonna leave that off. There's a couple other settings there we're not gonna worry about for now. So we'll back out of that. The next one is this blue link button over here. We're gonna turn that on and you might be able to see a little blue, kind of like a Bluetooth indicator up there at the top. And what that does is um, there's actually a Power Probe link app you can download and instead of having to you know, stand around the car and watch this thing once we get it going, um, I can actually have it on my phone and I can look at this voltage reading. And once we get a, have smart output turned on, uh, we'll be able to see what the, the current draw is um, as well. So that's actually the next step here is to press the smart output button. So as soon as we do that, we see we got our voltage reading and then we have a milliamp reading. So right now there's nothing being outputted from the tool into the vehicle. And that's simply because we have um, the negative battery cable still connected here. So that'll be our next step. Let's get out here and disconnect our negative battery cable so we can actually get some readings. All right, so we're back out here. Let's go ahead and get our negative battery cable carefully disconnected. And there we go. We take a look at our tool uh, and we're showing about 300 milliamps, um, which you know, I already knew this vehicle had a draw off, tested it with some other tools. Um, but again, right there, it's nice to know that this tool will perform uh, like it's supposed to. It keeps me from having to try to put a meter uh, into series out here um, and, and try to not disconnect the battery uh, connection completely and reset everything. Um, all I'm doing is letting that, that tool actually power the vehicle and I can get a reading. And again, uh, let's say it's, it's sitting at the point where it's good. Um, this vehicle specification here is 25 to 50 milliamps, depending on what options it has um, after 90 minutes. And I said, this thing's already sat for 90 minutes. So at 300 milliamps, I know I've got a problem here. Uh, let's say it's within that 25 to 50, but they're, they have a constant complaint of the battery going dead. You know, that's where I would use um, what you see here uh, from my phone recording. Um, I just screen recorded it, had the app connected and you can see it. And again, I could walk around the shop and do what I got to do and kind of keep an eye on it. Um, so at, when the draw actually appears, go over there and actually start doing my circuit isolation testing, which would actually be the next step um, for this vehicle. But again, for today's tech tip, we just wanted to show you the function uh, of this draw monitor uh, from Power Probe. I'm Ryan Payne with the Garage Gurus. Uh, do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button. And for more tech tips like this, press the subscribe button. Thank you.